So this piece, um, yeah, I, years ago I was standing outside of a restaurant with a friend, um, and they are very androgynous looking, um, and this person came up to us and was like, hey, can I borrow your lighter, ma'am? I mean, um, uh, sir, um, ma'am, uh, sir, ma'am, um, sir. And to which, you know, my friend was just like, like totally straight face. Um, and then the person walked away. And ever since then, and that happens often, you know, like the man's or don't know what's going on here. Um, but in that moment, that person just like, con like whatever was happening in their head, they just continued externalizing it. Uh, ma'am, sir, ma'am, sir, ma'am, sir, ma'am, sir. And I was like, this is the best moment of my life. Because it was so, like, it was fascinating to be like, oh, that's what's going on in someone's head. And ever since then, I was like, I want to capture that. Like, whatever that brain malfunction thing that's happening in somebody's head um, when they can't figure out what gender box to put somebody in, like, how do I capture that? And so um, years passed, and then my friend gave me this, like, handy-dandy little device here. Um, it's a loop pedal, and, he, and they were like, um, you should do something creative with this. And immediately I was like, yes, I know what I want to try. So um, I wrote this piece, and um, this is one of the, yeah, I don't know, I've performed it a handful of times now. It's called Man Sir. Uh -huh. That's it. <laughs> Can I borrow your lighter, ma'am? I mean, um, sir, um, uh, ma'am, uh, 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 sir. Can I borrow your lighter, ma'am? I mean, um, sir, um, uh, ma'am, uh, 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 sir. They have no boobs but lighter? hips. I mean, um, sir, um, uh, ma'am, uh, 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 sir. They have no boobs but short, uh, short uh, hair, uh, baggy uh, clothes, uh, 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 jaw. Sir. They have no boobs but short, short hair, baggy clothes. That person with a beard has a dress on. Short, short hair, baggy clothes. That person with a beard has a dress on. Look at those biceps. Uh, 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 that person with a beard has a dress on. Um, what's your name? Uh, oh, Aaron. Uh, that person with a beard has a dress on. Um, what bathroom are we in again? Uh, uh, that person with a beard has a dress on. Do you like your bathroom? Are we in again? That person with a beard has a dress on. Which earring is the bathroom? Which bathroom are we in again? That person with a beard has a dress on. Which earring is the bathroom? Are we in again? That person with a beard has a dress on. Which earring is the bathroom? Are we in again? That person with a beard has a dress on. Which earring is the bathroom? Which earring is the bathroom? Are we in again? I've got no boobs but hips. Short hair, but I'm a short. A petite jawline, but now that my shoulders roll back, I stand up straight like men do. So as long as I don't talk, they'll never know. As long as I don't walk, they'll never know. As long as I don't give them a soft smile and an apology. As long as I don't. 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 But I've been answering their gaze for longer than I can remember. Before I had words to shove down their boats, I described myself as either or both. But I took the box from their arms and placed it softly over my head so it wouldn't slam down so hard. I wore my womanhood like the necklace that my mother gifted me before she died. Like her last chance to make me more feminine and I wore it with pride like my last sacred chance left at normalcy. Like if I shut up and sit down then the fear will go away. Like if I behave and know my place then the dysphoria will go away. Like if I put another one down, then the truth will go away Because I've been guzzling denial like my last chance of survival I took another hit of silence, another bump of repression Because if I can just get through this day, then it'll get dark enough That I can take my clothes off and fall asleep at night If I could just, if I could just if I could just, 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 if I could just I didn't ask for your opinion, sir I don't care if you don't think women are supposed to behave like that. I don't know why you're talking to me anyway. I didn't have anything to say. I didn't ask for your conviction, ma'am. But I'm sorry if my presence in your bathroom makes you scream or double check the sign or stare blankly at me or rush your children away because I know it's not about me but centuries worth of patriarchy that has your fear tucked under your bottom lip ready to come at me in my shaven head. I didn't choose this body, sir. But even if I did, neither option justifies the faggot that you shoved down my throat while I stood on the street corner minding my own damn gay business. 
I didn't pray for this existence, ma'am. The one that has me looking down as to not disturb you. The one that taught me how to memorize shoe color before eye color, shuffles before fists. Why does it matter who's pee I pee on? Why are you talking to me anyway? I didn't have anything to say. I'm just trying to pee here. I'm just trying to breathe here. I'm just trying to breathe here. We deserve 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 to breathe here. And it's on these days that I know this truth that I go outside standing tall like I always long to be. And I deflect the faggot coming at me with a, yes sir, thank you for thinking I'm a gay man, but you can't even imagine how this works. Just like how I cannot even imagine all the words taught to me by the youth who have a language I could have never dreamed up. And I just bask in the fantasy of how queer this world is becoming soon. So I take either or both. I wear ma'am sir on my name tag for you to call. I call myself holy, holy androgyny, holy fucks that flew away, holy precious body that's a holy, there's no bathroom even made for it, holy freak child of this universe, holy ghost of my trauma, holy lighten up and roll with it because we're finally carving out space for ourselves because we're finally making room for ourselves and we deserve to breathe here and we deserve to breathe here and we deserve to breathe here and we can't. <laughs>